Praise the Lord, KICC. Let's stand to our feet. Let's stand to our feet. Let's welcome his presence. Let's just begin to welcome his presence in this place. Let's begin to welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let's magnify his name, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Come on, ask him to take control of tonight's service. Let's begin to call for an outpouring of his presence, an outpouring of his spirit, an outpouring of grace. That tonight's service will be a service of distinction. That as people come, they will not go back the same. Come and welcome his presence into this place. Fill this place, Holy Spirit. We welcome you into this place, O oh Lord. We release your Shekinah glory in this place. Fill this place, Lord. Fill this place, Holy Spirit. Oh, we crave for your presence tonight. We crave for your presence tonight. Oh, come on, begin to speak in tongues and welcome his presence. He inhabits the praises of his people. If you want to encounter his presence, just lift up praise, begin to praise him. And his presence shall be manifest. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We say, take all the glory. I'm going to take that song. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Oh, Father, we thank you. Welcome, Welcome Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We are in your presence. Your presence. Yes. Feel us with your power. Word. Yes, Lord. Live inside of me. Yes, Welcome. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. says in Jeremiah 1 12 then the Lord said to me you have seen well for I am actively watching over my word to fulfill it to perform it father let your word be performed tonight we are going to pray and we're going to commit this service into the hands of God the last part of uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 45 it says that there will be a fulfillment of the things that were spoken to her I decree that as you your spirit aligns with the word that comes tonight, there will be a fulfillment of the things that come forth from this platform. I want you to begin to pray right now to begin to release an atmosphere, an atmosphere of performance of his word, an atmosphere of divine performance, an atmosphere of a fulfillment of that contractual obligation, a fulfillment of covenant, an atmosphere of fulfillment of destiny, fulfillment of purpose, in the mighty name of Jesus, that there shall be a touch tonight. There shall be an impactation tonight. Father, there will be a touching of the garment tonight. 
Mate de Kasanda da Basekutu, Leka Telebushite, captives will be set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, we consecrate Pastor Martin. We set him apart. We set apart the choir as they come to minister. They will minister with strength. They will minister with grace, with power. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we crave your presence. We thank you for your presence. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Tonight will be a night of significant difference. Father, let there be a manifestation. Let there be a move. Let there be a move. We want the touch of your performance tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be. And the church said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're just going to lift up the name of our Lord Jesus tonight. Is that okay? Is that okay to lift up the name of Jesus, the King of kings and the Lord of lords? Bible says there is no other name given to man by which we can be saved. Oh, we lift you up, Lord Jesus. That great name. Hallelujah. Everything trembles at your name. Thank you, Jesus.
yours, Jesus.
to KICC, the church that is raising champions and taking territories. And a special welcome to our online viewers. This is this week's news in brief. Go out of your way and win 10 souls by the 10th of April, 2023. Invite them to one of KICC's actual services and receive a gift from Pastor Matthew. Make 2023 your year of witnessing for Christ. We are calling all singles it's time to join the evangelism team to win souls for Christ on Saturday the 11th of February at 11 a.m. at KICC The Land of Wonders 468 to 474 Hoe Street, Walthamstow, London, E17, 9AH. There will be bowling in Stratford afterwards. So if you would like to join, please send an email to singles at kicc.org.uk by the 7th of February. Seven Sundays of the Prophetic. Do you need a word that addresses your situation? It's time to join Pastor Matthew Shimolowo at these seven Sunday morning services. One or two people were in the service some decision are going to be made concerning you and it's giving you some worry you need to come out quickly so i can pray for you come expectant believing god for revelation transformation a release of grace a word for you bring your family and invite your friends neighbors and colleagues from january 29th to march 12th time 11 a.m Venue, KICC Prayer City, ME5 9QG. Don't miss these powerful services where you will pray and trust God. Join host Pastor Matthew Oshimolowo for the overflow of God that will cause you to be revived, renewed, restored, refilled, and so much more. This is from Sunday the 19th to Friday the 24th of February. We will be meeting weekdays at the KICC Land of Wonders E17 9AH from 6.30pm and the Sunday service at KICC Prayer City ME5 9QG and the time is 6pm. Come expectant and God will overflow your life with His goodness. The first KBI Extra Classes for Baptismal Membership and Workers is scheduled to be held on Saturday the 11th and the 18th of February 2023. The time will be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and it's going to be via Zoom. Interested candidates should please send an email to kbi at kicc.org.uk for an introductory questionnaire to be sent out. The deadline is 8th of February at 11 p.m. Candidates must attend both Saturdays to qualify for the interview. The KICC office is looking to recruit for the following positions. A business finance officer, it's a full-time position located in Chatham in Kent. A TV scheduling assistant, also a full-time position in Chatham, Kent. A production stock edit assistant, which is a part-time role shared between Hull Street and Prayer City in Chatham. A media assistant, also a part-time role for Chatham in Kent, and a weekend editor, a part-time role that would also be based in Chatham in Kent. If you are interested in this post, please email admin at kicc.org.uk for an application path. The closing date for the receipt and completion of application path is Wednesday the 8th of February 2023. Applicants must have a full right to work in the UK. For more information, visit kicc.org.uk forward slash careers. Attend the KICC evening service where God has a prophetic word for you. 
The date is every Sunday and the venue is Prayer City, a KICC ME5 9QG and it's from 6 p.m. Join Pastor Matthew for the morning glow services every weekday morning at 6 a.m. It is a powerful hour of prayer and prophecy not to be missed. Streaming live on all KICC social media platform and we look forward to reading your testimonies. Have you thought about becoming a member or a steward of KICC? Join us for baptismal membership and stewardship classes every Wednesday at 6 p.m. If you are interested in this opportunity, send an email to kbi at kicc.org.uk and an introductory questionnaire will be sent out to you. The Global Bible Study with Pastor Matthew takes place every Wednesday at 7 p.m. via all KICC social media platform. Caring at Fellowship CHF is every Friday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. For the nearest center to you, please call the church office on 0208 525 0000 or visit kicc.org.uk forward slash iChurch forward slash chf dash materials the new tomorrow tnt services are held every sunday at 11 a.m the venue is joseph academy prayer city registration is required via events bright for more information and previous services follow tnt on instagram king's kids services are also held on sundays at 11 a.m registration is also required via events bright the venue is Prayer Palace, Grand Hall, KICC, Prayer City, ME59 QG. There will be one big morning service at KICC Land of Wonders. The time is 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and the venue is KICC Land of Wonders, 468 to 474 Hull Street, Walthamstow, London, E17 9AH. The French Connection Service will be held at 2 p.m. Please share this information with your family, friends and colleagues. We look forward to having you. For more information about KICC or any of these announcements, call the church office, email events at kicc.org.uk, download the KICC app from iTunes or Google Play, follow KICC on all social media platforms. You can share your testimony at kicctv.org.uk. Travel to KICC on free return shuttle buses from various locations in London and Kent. Visit kicc.org.uk. You can also watch KICC TV on Sky Channel 589. This is the end of this week's announcements. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the service. Bless the name of the Lord. He is worthy of our praise. Let's just rise as we approach the throne room of God to worship him, to give him praise because he is God. There's no other God like him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So just lift up your voice and just praise him. Just give him all the worship that's due unto his name. He is the sustainer of life. He is the one who said, let there be light and there was light. Hallelujah.
I want you to lift your hand in thanksgiving because everything God said concerning you is going to come to pass. Your eye will see it. Your mouth will testify. Lift your voice in thanksgiving. Jesus, we magnify you tonight. We thank you. There he did a bush at a lady cover. Mambro zilike did a da bush. Rato selende la bosso kayana. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Awesome God, mighty God, glorious God, powerful God. The God who cannot lie, the God who cannot fail. Minister to your people tonight. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. We sit here for a short while. Welcome to the night of be fruitful. Be fruitful be fruitful when God made man the first word God spoke to man was Genesis 1 28 God made five profound statements they were the first things ever said to man be fruitful multiply replenish subdue have dominion so tonight is a prophetic night of speaking into your life that 2023 you will be fruitful which means your dreams will come to pass your visions will become reality you will be full of fruit as a mean of fruitful in other words God doesn't want you to be seed full or need full but fruit full some people are seed full they're carrying seed, but there's no expression. Some people are needful. They talk need, 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 and there is no expression. God wants you to be fruitful so that you turn to the right, you see your fruit. You turn to the left, you will see your fruit. You turn behind in front, you see your fruit. Now it is the fruit that can be multiplied. You, you know, this... <laughs> This verse is like climbing a ladder, but a ladder which you cannot jump any of the steps. You have to take it one step at a time. Uh, you know, you want to sometimes jump steps and take one big step at a time. But this one, if you are not fruitful, there's nothing to multiply. And if you have not learned how to multiply, there's nothing to replenish. And if you have not replenished, there's nothing with which to subdue the earth. Tonight, I believe God that somebody here will be fruitful. When something is fruitful, it means it is productive. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. A woman said to her son as he was born, because he was born in a difficult time, she looked at her son and spoke a word, which meant that he was going to live a life of pain, because he was born during a tough time. And, she's, and she called, now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pain. And Jabez, therefore, seeing that he had, born a, he had been given a bad name, just like this morning, our message was the wonderful name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. But this guy was given the name to reflect the season in which he was born. His mother called him Jabez, and she said, because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me, and indeed, and enlarge my territory, and that your hand will be with me, and that you will keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. Praise the Lord. His mother just assumed that this guy can never be fruitful because he was born in a, different, in a difficult season. But listen, as you are here tonight, you need to know that you have roots. And your roots go deep. You are planted by the rivers of water. Therefore, you will bear fruit. Come on, say amen like you are alive. Don't give me a winter's amen. Say a better amen. amen. Praise God. You need to understand that the believer must never allow circumstance, seasons, 
to determine how fruitful they are. The Bible says he shall be like a tree planted where? By the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in season. Everything it does will bear fruit and in fact, you see, the beauty of them planted by the rivers of water is that you determine your season. Instead of uh, having a certain season when there is none, you will just keep bearing fruit. You keep bearing fruit. You keep bearing fruit because you are in perpetual supply. Praise the Lord. Somebody's going to be fruitful this year. That is the reason for tonight at the end of a short word, I'm just going to prophesy into your life. I believe God. Even where you see dryness now, there is going to be fruitfulness. Because the power of life and death is where? In the tongue. After three and a half years of famine and no rain, Elijah, having caught fire on the, on the, pro, on the prophets of Baal, he now turned to the king. There's no rain yet. There's no cloud. When he said, get into your, into your chariot and run because there is a sound of abundance of rain. And there's nothing, no manifestation yet. But with his mouth, he began to command the cloud to gather. The cloud is gathering. I said the cloud is gathering. This year you'll be fruitful. Your hand will be blessed. Listen, I don't care how many years of, of luck, pain, challenge you've been through. It is not going to end that way. Amen. Say amen three times. Amen. 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 To be fruitful means to be capable of reproducing. You shall reproduce. Amen. To be fruitful means to produce or bear more than imagine. You shall be fruitful. To be fruitful means to be bountiful, to be plentiful, to produce in abundance. Receive in the name of Jesus. To be fruitful means to breed, producing offspring or setting aside especially that offspring which you produce. You shall be fruitful. To be fruitful means to be fat, to be fertile, to be productive, to be rich, and to be marked by great fruitfulness. You shall be fruitful. To be fruitful means to have high yield. Yielding a large amount of agricultural or industrial production. You shall be fruitful. To be fruitful means to, to have fert fertility. To be prolific in your bearing in abundance. Especially in your offspring. You shall be fruitful. I say again you shall be fruitful. I declare again you shall be fruitful. To be fruitful means that any time you are where the waters are, are spreading over you, you have to bear fruit. You have to continue to bear fruit. I was sitting down with a professor of agriculture on, uh, on Thursday night, no, on Friday morning. I was in Umuahia, Nigeria. having preached for Jerry Aze. I'm getting ready to go to the airport to fly back to England. And this professor was talking to me. He said the challenge of some parts of Africa is that they wait for the rain before they sow. He said the places where there is much fruitfulness is where they continue to have irrigation system. In other words, those who have irrigation, because there's continual supply, they don't wait for nature. God is saying to you, you will not wait for nature. You are already planted where? By the rivers of water. You are not waiting for rainfall. Because there are times during rainfall when there is a long one month, two months, when there is no rain. You know, life is so funny. There are some people praying for rain to fall, and there are some people who are praying that rain should not fall. But when you are planted by the rivers, you don't wait. Oh, glory to God. As the professor was talking to me, he didn't know he's giving me a whole message. I don't have to wait for nature to determine my growth. I'm already planted by the rivers of water. I draw water all the time. Fruit has to follow. Growth has to follow. Increase has to follow. And that's your portion. I said that's your portion. Shout amen with power. So like I, like I told you before, I planted these plantain trees by the lagoon, which is in front of our house. I don't even know if there is a season for bananas and plantains, mine always bears fruit. Every time I go, 
one of them is carrying a whole bunch. Every time there is a bunch because they are always drawing water. They are by, I mean, they have more supply of water than they can drink. Somebody tonight, the Lord laid on my heart that this year you shall be fruitful. And I want you to say a better amen. amen. Say glorious amen. amen. To be fruitful means to bear fruit all round. That will be your story. Amen. To be fruitful means to be productive, producing, capable of producing, especially abundantly. That is your portion. I said that is your portion. It is God's nature. God is fruitful in his own nature, in his deeds, and in his ways. Everything God does is by making things increase. And you carry the DNA of God. Somebody say, I carry God's nature. I have his DNA. If God is fruitful, I cannot be without fruit. I shall be fruitful. Ah! God is fruitful in the area of prosperity. Therefore, he says that he owns the cattle where? Now, if your God owns the cattle upon a thousand hills, why should it be lacking just one piece of meat? So this day, this year, I say again, this year, I say again, this year, I say again, this year, you shall be so fruitful. Somebody's in this service. What you've never been able to do in your lifetime, you will do it this year. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said you do it this year. I said again, you do it this year. You say how? 2 Corinthians 4, 18, while we look not at the things that are seen, don't look at your bank account because it will scare you. But while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen. For the things that are seen are temporary. Verse 17 tells us the things that are 17. He said, for this current trouble we are going through cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. It's working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Therefore, we are not looking at the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen. What are the things that are not seen? Everything that God has already made provision. It's already there. Somebody say it's already there. I prophesy again tonight, you shall be fruitful. I declare again, you shall be fruitful. God made man with the potential for fruitfulness. Productively, man was created to be able to produce. You have been given that capacity as a child of God. I declare today, your father is fruitful, you shall be fruitful. You shall not be fruitless. You shall not be fruitless. Every area of your life will be a fruit. Your spiritual life will be a fruit. Your walk with God will be a fruit. Shout a powerful amen. And that's the reason why you got born again. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit who now lives in you also has his own fruit. It says you, there's a fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verse 21 to 23, now list the fruit of the Spirit. In other words, you cannot be born again and not have fruit that can be seen. Uh, verse is it 21 to 23 or 22, 23 or 19 and 20. One of the two. Okay, 22, 23, yes. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Because if the Holy Spirit lives in you, you see, when, God, when you got born again, you became a fruit bearer. Now that the Holy Spirit also lives in you, you become also a fruit bearer. Glory to God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering. And have you noticed? Biblical English is not uh, Oxford English. It's a fruit and lists nine things. Is that correct in English? No. But in the Bible, yes. Why? Because the source is one. It's like an orange. It has many strands. But you cannot say I have oranges when you have only one orange with many strands. So the Holy Spirit puts nine fruit <laughs> inside you because they come from the same spirit. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. So you will be a fruit. I said you will be a fruit. That's why the believer is not trying to love. 
he already carries the fruit. The believer is not trying to have joy. He already carries the fruit. The believer is not trying to be gentle. He already carries the fruit. The believer is not trying to express self-control. He already carries the fruit. The only problem is activation. Tell your neighbor, activate. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. This year, you will be fruitful on all counts. I said, on all counts, you'll be fruitful. So listen, the Bible said, God bless them. He said, be fruitful, then multiply, then replenish, then subdue, then have dominion. There is a progression implied here from being fruitful to multiplying to filling the earth to subduing to exercising dominion. God's blessing on Adam and the eventual command to be fruitful and to multiply to fill the earth represents one of the most authoritative words spoken to humanity till late. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. First thing God ever said to man was not, you are a failure, you are rubbish, you are not good. No, first thing God said is, be fruitful. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And I, I, listen, never let anyone put you down. From the day you gave your life to Christ, you became a new person. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of the incorruptible seed of the word of God. From now on, when God looks at you, he sees his creation. He sees man, he sees beauty. Oh, by the way, God never called you human. That language is from man, calling you human, which means something from dirt. Never will you see in the Bible, God calling man human. No. Because human is technically rubbish. And you're not rubbish. You're beautiful. You're awesome. You're glorious. You're powerful. You're blessed. Somebody scream, I'm blessed. Again, I declare, the years you have lost is about to be recovered. Oh, I'm saying that the years you have lost are about to be recovered in a most powerful way. You are recovering lost years. Your business will be fruitful. Your work will be fruitful. Your mind will be fruitful. You are moving away from being seed fool. You are moving into the realm of being fruitful. Your fruit will manifest. In the name of Jesus, shout a powerful amen. Not only will you be fruitful, your fruit will be available to to buy by people. People will patronize. Patronize your gifts. Patronize your ability. Patronize the grace that is on you. Patronize the ability you carry. Some of you, your fruitfulness will come in the area of your ideas. Idea. idea just one idea that can change your life. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Some of you will come by something that looks so small, but God will breathe on it and will bless your household. Touch yourself and say, I shall be fruitful. I shall be fruitful. God's blessing on Adam and the eventual command to be fruitful and to multiply, to fill the earth and subdue it represents one of the most authoritative words ever spoken. Another thing God did when he created man was that he deliberately put him in an environment where he is to produce fruit. God has planted you on this planet. He knows you can bear fruit. Some of us may feel, ah, things are hostile around me. It depends on what you see. While we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen. But if you can just look, you are surrounded by opportunity. You are blessed every day. There is favor all around you. There is grace all around you. If they remove you here and put you in the desert, you will still blossom. Because you are called of God. You are chosen of God. You are lifted by God. You cannot fail. For you to fail, God will have to fail. And since God cannot fail, then you cannot fail. Because in him we live and move and have our being. How can you fail when you have your being in God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I prophesy on you today, you are going far. You are achieving. You are breaking grounds. You are reaching new levels, new dimensions, new favors. In the name of Jesus, shout another amen. amen. 
So the nation of Israel, which was born out of a covenant of relationship with Abraham, was equally created to be fruitful. In many places in the Bible, God evaluated Israel born based on their ability to bear fruit. For instance, Isaiah 5, verse 1 to 7, that's how God evaluated them. He said, now let me sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved regarding his vineyard. My well-beloved has a vineyard. I think this sounds like Songs of Solomon, but let me see. Yes, it is Isaiah. A song of my beloved regarding his, word, his vineyard. My well-beloved has a vineyard on a very fruitful hill. He dug it up and cleared it out its stones and planted it with choicest vine. He built a tower in its midst and also made a wine press in his ear. So he expected it to bring forth good grapes, but it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, please, between me and my vineyard, because the vineyard is Israel. God is saying, between me and you, judge now. What more could have been done to this vineyard that I have not done? Why then, when I expected to bring forth good grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? The day of your wild grapes are over. You are going to begin to bear good fruit. Shout amen three times. And now... And now, please let me tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I'll take away its hedge, but it shall be burnt. And break down its wall, and it shall be trampled down, not your portion. God so, God so angry. God, you remember when Jesus also came, he said, any tree that does not bear fruit, they will first be, will be pruned. And if it's still not bear, cut down. It will be cut down. That's why when he came one time, and he saw a fig tree, and there's no fruit, even though it was irritable shakaya, it was not the season for fig trees to bear fruit. But when Jesus showed up, the fig tree should have seen that it's a privilege that my creator showed up today. I must push one fruit out, even if I didn't have it for other people. On this occasion, oh praise God. Imagine somebody you respect and honor. Even if you didn't have money, they showed up in your house. You go out of your way. You break a leg to make something happen, to cook a, a cookie or something. Just to let them know that, look, I don't have much, but you showing up. And Jesus shows up in front of this fig tree, and the fig tree, because look at me, everything has its own voice. You may not hear the voice of the tree. Jesus knew the voice of the tree. The tree knew he was coming. The tree did not respond right. You, everything belongs in the kingdom. Even mountains belong in the kingdom. That's why the Bible says, Whosoever shall say to the mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and does not doubt what he says, he shall have what he says. Because when you speak to the mountain, it has its own ear, in its own kingdom, in its own realm. So this tree was meant to bear fruit when it saw Jesus. It just gave like, What's the big deal? You should know that it's not my season to bear fruit. You are going to bear fruit in and out of season and have an awesome testimony shout a powerful amen. amen and now please let me tell you what i will do to my vineyard I take away its hedge and it shall be burned and break down its wall it shall be trampled verse six i will lay it waste it shall not be pruned or dug but there shall come up briars and turn and thorns i will also command the clouds that they rain that they rain no rain on it, Jesus, man. So he expects fruit. Verse 7, for the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. And the man of Judah are his pleasant plant. He looked for justice, but behold, oppression. For righteousness, but behold, a cry of help. So God always expects fruit. He expects fruit. I prophesy fruitfulness. I declare fruitfulness. I say fruitfulness. Every area of your life this year, the work of your hand will bear fruit. Any opposition to the fruitfulness in your life, you will overcome. Shout, I overcome. Say it again, I overcome. Say with all strength, I overcome. Six of the parables of Jesus have to do with fruit. It has to do with fruit because fruitfulness is so major. May your Christian life be fruitful. May your gifting bring forth fruit. May you bless the kingdom of God. 
Jesus told a parable of the sower, Matthew 13, verse 18 to 23. And he talked about fruit there, you will bear fruit. He talked about the parable of the wheat and the tares, Matthew 13, 24 to 30, may you bear fruit. He talked about the parable of the mustard seed, Matthew 13, 31 to 32, you will bear fruit. He talked about the parable of the wicked vine dresser, Matthew 13, verse 1 to 12. Again, I declare you will bear fruit. He talked about the parable of the barren tree, Luke 13, verse 6 to 8. I prophesy you will bear fruit. I said you will bear fruit. He talked about the parable of the growing seed, Mark 4, verse 26 to 29. I say again, you will bear fruit. Fruitfulness will follow you. I said fruitfulness will follow you. In the name of Jesus, from this day, your gifting will touch the world. Jesus was so, so not happy. Mark 11, verse 12 to 14, when he got to the bottom of that fig tree and found no fruit. There are some people in church, no fruit. They've never done anything. They never won any soul, never sang, never ushered, never peacekeepered, never... They're just there. He said, where's their church? Okay, I see their foundation. I was there when Pastor Matthew started. But they've never led one soul. They've never done anything. And they are usually among the grumble weeds. They, are, they can grumble. Ah, the, the boss did not come on time to hold straight to pick us. What have you done? Where is your fruit? You didn't even know that the man who is driving that bus or, the, or that big vehicle, what's the name of the other one, the long one? The coach, these guys wake 6 a.m. They leave their family just to pick you, to bring you to church. But you always come late. You were five minutes wait late, brother. Oh, really? Come and drive. Fruit bearers don't complain. They are grateful that God considered them to be a blessing to their generation. Oh, you will bear fruit. I pray for you. Your fruit will not perish. Everything you've done that man have not even acknowledged, may God breathe on it, put his blessing on it, his blessing on your life. You will be a testimony to your generation. Praise God. I said, praise the Lord. May the grace of God rest on your life. Jesus further underscored the importance of fruitfulness in John 15 verse 5. He said, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears fruit. Without me, you cannot do anything. I pray for you, may you bear fruit. In the name of Jesus. Anyone hearing me today whom Satan is doing everything to, tear, to try to block your fruitfulness, we remove it. We declare you will be a blessing. This year you are going to stand out. Grace will rest on you. Gifts will manifest. The things you carry that are a blessing will manifest. Shout a powerful leg. Amen. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. How do you manifest your fruit? Psalm 107 verse 38. It shows that by divine grace, a man manifests his fruitfulness. This year, I pray for you that your gift will show forth. He also blesses them and they multiply greatly and he does not let their cattle decrease. Oh, may the divine hand of God multiply you greatly this year. May the divine hand of God multiply you greatly this year. Your cattle will not decrease. Your income will not decrease. Your favor will not decrease. Your blessing will not decrease. I'm speaking into February, March, April, May, June. I am saying no decrease, only increase, only increase, only favor, only blessing in the name of Jesus. Shout amen powerfully. In Genesis 12 verse 2, God said, get thee out of their kindred, out of their people to a land that I will show And I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great and make your name great and you shall be the man he's talking to had manifested fruitlessness who is this abraham 75 no child few cattle still living in his daddy's house he's still living in the, his father's house what's the name of the father of abraham huh? 
Oh, you people are mentioning all kinds of names. Thank you very much. Terra. We shall be doing Bible quiz in, in our services from now on. Praise God. <laughs> He's still living in his father's house. But then God said, come out. And from today, I bless you. Suddenly, the last years of Abraham, he lived to be 140. So it meant that for the next 65 years, everything he taught you was blessed. Don't let anybody tell you you are too old to be blessed. The Bible says they shall still bear fruit in. Oh, who am I talking to here? I see you being fruitful. The years you thought you have lost, they are coming back. You are, going, you are, li you are not living this earth now. If, when it's time to live, you are living with a bank. You are living with celebration. In the name of Jesus, fruitfulness follows you. Increase follows you. Favor follows you. Testimony follows you. Shout amen with power. In Genesis 17, verse 16 to 20, we see again that it takes the divine power of God to bless a man. And there's somebody here whom God is blessing, and I will bless her and also give you a son by her. Then I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. 90-year-old woman. 90-year-old. 90. They didn't have dentists in those days. So possibly that she has no dentures, no teeth. But God said, I will bless her. Praise God. He said, kings of peoples shall be from her. Oh, this is fruitfulness. This is fruitfulness. You see, all trees that bear fruit seem to have a lifespan. If it's a palm tree, at the end of 30 to 40 years, a palm tree, even if it bears fruit, you can't pluck it because it becomes too tall and thin. You climb it, you and the tree will come down. So usually at that time, nobody goes off the palm tree. But God said of this woman at 90, that she will still bear fruit. She will still bear fruit. Ah, and when God wants to do things, he sets you up for a breakthrough. When Hagar had uh, Ishmael, what did God tell Abraham to do? Send him away. After he sent him away, then he said, bring Isaac for killing. The only uh, plan B, you've asked me to send away because God does not like plan B. He wants you to follow him totally. The problem with 21st century Christians is they don't understand the language of faith. Which book in the Bible, which chapter in Hebrews talk of faith? Chapter 11. It mentions about 20 to 30 people there, but guess what? Out of 40 verses, 12 verses were dedicated to, Mo, to Abraham alone. By, with, by faith Abraham. By faith Abraham. By faith Abraham. Because his own faith was on another level that is not seen everywhere. That a man who is almost 100 will believe that if he said it, he meant it, and it will come to pass. Again, I prophesy that when it comes to your business, there will be a, a breath of God on it this year. God will open the doors you have never seen. Shout, I receive it. Say it again, I receive it. All blessings are coming. Fruitfulness is coming. Greatness is coming. In the name of Jesus. I declare on your life that this year you will be fruitful. I say you will be fruitful. And for those of you in this house who walk in the principle of sowing, will eventually reap large quantum seed. I say you will reap. You know, there are some people when it's time to give they don't know the power of giving they don't know it's not about a pastor it's not about the church it's about the word it's about the word i was seated ready to give my offering when i was to pray for jerry this woman she's just a world champion when it comes to raising offering i think she's a professor of one of the universities there i, I always look forward to her i was telling him is that a woman raising offering this year i said she is i would gotten my offering ready. When this woman finished, I put the offering aside and wrote another offering 10 times bigger. Praise God. Because, I mean, I can't remember everything she said, but she said something to the effect like, 
Abraham had nothing else. And now God said, that very thing you have, bring it to me. And when he brought it to God, God said, okay, now that you have shown that you believe me, I return your son, but along with your son, I give you everything for generations to come beyond you can ever handle. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. If you see anyone prospering in this kingdom, it is not because they are smart. It is because of seed that produces fruit. May you be fruitful. I say again, may you be fruitful. I declare again, may you be fruitful. Proverbs 11 verse 24, 25. This year you will be fruitful. Your seed will not die with you, but will turn to fruit. There is the one who scatters, yet he increases more. And there's the one who withholds more than his right, and it leads to poverty. So the next verse says, the generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. Aya kabarosi, every seed that have left your hand will not die. It shall bear fruit. Some of you, you've given from the place of pain. God will give you testimony. Some of you, you've given from the place of hardship. God will breathe upon it. I declare God will speak into your life and turn situations around. Shout amen with power. Quantum of seed determines quantum of harvest. So I declare today you will be fruitful. That's why the Bible says in the book of Luke 6, 38, give, it shall be given back to you. Good measures, press down, shaking together, running over. Give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, number one. Press down, number two. Shaking together, number three. Running over, number four. You don't get this unless you've been to an African market. If you've ever been to an African market where they sell you some, some measurement of rice or beans or, or gari or couscous or whatever they first put it they press it down they shake the the thing with which they put it so all the spaces can take more oh i prophesy on somebody god is bringing good measures god is bringing some press down blessings some shaken together blessings in the name of jesus some i pray for you some running over blessing some say running over Say it again, running over, running over. My cup is full and running over. May your cup run over. I said, may your cup run over. You know that one? You don't know, okay. Running over. There are some Old Testament churches members here. Huh? Hey, these ones are not Anglican. These ones are cherubim and cherubim. <laughs> <Just. laughs> Old song, praise God. As I praise the Lord, give it to be given back to good measure, then press down. You know, when you go to Sainsbury, everything is pre-measured. This is Middle East market. If you go to Marrakesh, Morocco, this is how they will measure for you. If you go to Lebanon, if you go to, some of you have been to some corners in Dubai. As CMC took me to some corners I've never been. Hey, I said, what did you come to look for here? <laughs> Praise God. And if you go to an African market, I went to a market in Zambia where they have 12 kinds of corn. I'm from West Africa. Corn is not big in West Africa. If you give us two broth food like cassava and yam, then I go to Zambia. I saw yellow corn, red corn, green corn, blue corn, big corn, fat corn, thin corn. I said, this, all this corn, corn, corn. You people are corning people here. But then in the sale, they'll put it, they'll press God is going to press down. He's going to shake it and cause it to run over for you. 
Shout, I received three times. This evening, stand on your feet. I can't finish everything, but tonight is the night of the fruitfulness. So I prophesy into your life. Isaiah 42 verse 22. Every limitation is removed. Every limitation is removed. Every barrier is broken. Every limitation is removed. He said, but this is a people robbed and plundered. All of them are snared in holes and they are hidden in prison houses. They are for a prayer and no one delivers. For plunder and no one says restore. Tonight, I command a restoration. Can I hear your amen? Tonight upon this platform, I prophesy. As you have worked hard, Proverbs 14, 23. This year, the work of your hand will be blessed. Your sweat will not go in vain. Your labor will not go in vain. Your labor will result in profit. You will be profitable. Ale Katolori, Joel 2, 25. I lay hand on some people here. You still have your dream. You still have your vision. Some things pushed you back and you are wondering, why am I where I am? But tonight I push you forward and I restore your lost years. I restore your lost opportunity. I command that things begin to open. Every locust that ate what belongs to you, they shall be put to shame. For the days of your restoration are here. Somebody scream, I shall be fruitful. Say it again, I shall be fruitful. I stand on this altar today. I take authority over frustration. It is broken in Jesus' name. I take authority over sadness. It is broken in the name of Jesus. I take authority over lack. It is broken in Jesus' name. Every futility, everything you tried and it was just futile. It didn't bring forth fruit. I command a change from tonight. I command a change from tonight. I command a change from tonight. In the name of Jesus. Shout amen with power. Genesis 49 from verse 22 to 26. Your life will be like the life of Joseph. Your fruit will extend beyond your boundaries. Somebody said beyond my boundaries. Joseph is a fruitful bough. A fruitful bough by a well. You see, it has to draw water. His branches run over where? The wall. The wall is the boundary. But it has gone beyond. Ah! He ran at Kosoba. Retoko. You know, some people try to build a wall around you. They look at me, they say, ah, he's a pastor. So they don't expect you to do business. But God is saying, beyond my pastoral gifting, I am over. I am crossing into new realms, into new dimension. Some of you, you are in the medical world, but God will bless you beyond medicine. Some of you, you are in the world of IT. God will bless you beyond IT. He will give you real estate. He will give you connections. He will give you opportunities in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you've never considered catering before. But in the night season, God will begin to give you ideas. He'll begin to show you how to run your own restaurant. Say, I receive it. The next verse. The next verse says, the archers have bitterly gripped him, shot at him, and hated him. When you begin to bear fruit, there will be enemies. There is no seed on earth that does not have a parasite. No seed. As I sat with the professor, he's a professor of cassava, manioc. In fact, there are 55 variations on earth today. He introduced 22. He said it struggles in Congo because there is a particular enemy of the cassava in the Congo. There is no seed. That doesn't have an enemy. If you are a rice planter like I used to be, the enemy is birds. Birds like it particularly when the rice is still in milk. And when they see that it's no longer milk, it's hardened and they can't eat it, they come to waste it. If we can't eat it, we waste it. They'll just come and shake it as if they have a brain for shaking. Every, when I was to plant palm trees, we had to buy iron mesh to put around each palm tree because grass cutters, these big rats, and they are rats to me. Some people eat it, they say it's grass cutter. It's not a grass, it's a big rat. They eat the seed of the palm tree. Every seed has an enemy. 
the seed of your life has an enemy. How many of you like chocolates? Let me see. Every cocoa tree stayed with my uncle in the farm for a year and four months. Every cocoa tree, something grows on it that is a parasite. And they have a special chemical to kill it. How many people know the name? Gamelin 20. To kill every tree, every seed has a parasite. But there's something to kill the parasite. Today we apply the blood. We apply the blood. We speak your victory. We apply the blood. We speak your victory. We apply the blood. We speak your victory. We speak your victory. We speak your victory. We speak your victory. Shout amen with power. Shout amen with power. But then he says, archers have hated him, but his bow remains strength. Strength remained in strength. And the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. Oh, glory to God. May your hand be made strong. I said, may your hand be made strong. I said, may your hand be made strong. One of my favorite verses in the prophetic word of Ekalibro Shataya, of, of Jacob and his son Joseph, is verse 25. When a father acknowledges that his son has outgrown him and is not in competition with his son, he said, by the God of your father who will help you, and by the Almighty who would bless you with the blessing of heaven above, with the blessing of the deep that lies beneath, the blessing of the breast, the blessing of the womb. Verse 26, verse 26. The blessing of your father have excelled the blessing of my ancestors. In order of Joseph, you have excelled beyond me. You have excelled beyond Isaac to the uttermost bound of the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him who was separated from his brothers. Look at me. Stop worrying Amen. about those who didn't like you and even siblings who didn't, who, didn't, who didn't celebrate you. You don't know your siblings yet until your parents die. And the worst is when they die without a will. Somebody will fight over bed sheet, bed sheet, bed sheet. Mama wanted to give me even if there was a will, they still fight. How come you got that house? My eye was always on that house. As if they built it. But God said, he will raise you beyond what they thought. And beyond what they said. Somebody's here tonight. Your fruitfulness will excel. It will exceed. In the name of Jesus. He says, even though he was separated from his brothers, it became for his good everything you've been through how many of you have been through something let me see i'm not talking of your headache now how many of you have been through something it shall work for your good it shall be for your blessing somebody scream five times i shall be fruitful i shall be fruitful i shall be fruitful i shall be fruitful put your hands together give god praise krcc shall be fruitful I said, chaos is it shall be fruitful. Your family will be fruitful. Multiplication in your financial life. Plentiful harvest will follow you. Blessings on your business. Every promise God made to you will come to pass. Fruitfulness in your relationships. Anyone who is a blood sucker, anyone who is an opportunist, anyone who is lying, stealing from you, just sucking your emotions, making you to be dried up, VDPs, very draining people. From today, I sever them from your life. I sever them from your life. I sever them from your life. Gloriously blessed people are coming to your life. Talented people are coming to your life. From today, you'll be fruitful. Your prayer will be fruitful. Some of you have ideas. Let me see those who have some idea right now. Some dream you carry. I pray for you today. God will breathe on your dream. Your dream will go beyond dream. You become reality. You become a testimony. In the name of Jesus, you become a testimony. Glory will rest on you. Favor will rest on you. 
blessing will rest on you in the name of Jesus. I, I want you to say, I shall be fruitful. I shall be fruitful. From this day, even in your night season, God will teach you. You put ideas in you. Where your seed is, God will show you. You know, some people, they are, I don't want to start a whole teaching. One of the worst things in life is to be plowing in the wrong field. Two things, plowing or planting in the wrong field. They are two terrible things. When you are digging where you are not supposed to be. There are people who studied maybe medicine and their gifting is in running some restaurant or having a real estate business. You will not plow in the wrong farm. Oh, please let your amen be stronger. Number two is planting. 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 Because it is in proximity, don't mean it's the same. I always like to use what I know. So the front of these are home. There's the closeness to the water, and there's the one close. There's just, just, just 50 steps. I had poor sea sand, so I can feel like I'm on the beach. And then we planted coconut, and the thing is dying because it doesn't have nutrient. And just 50 meters from it are the planting that are bearing fruit. This is planted where there is no moisture, no topsoil, no black soil, nothing to give it life. Today, I pray for you. You will not be planted in the wrong place, but rather in the right place. Oh, you will be a fruit. Oh, you will be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. I say again, you will be a fruit. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand. I'm beginning to thank you. Begin to thank you. Come on. Come on, thank you. Bringing in the ships. Bringing in the ships. We shall come rejoicing. Bringing in the ships. Bringing in. The ships bringing in the ships, we shall come rejoice. Bringing in the ships, you know, city life has spoiled most of us. We don't even know where bread comes from, it comes from wheat, and the wheat, some farmer somewhere is working so hard. And when it's harvest time, they cut all the wheat and tie them in big sheaves before they go process. So when we say bringing in the sheaves, we are saying, you are not going to bring one stalk of wheat. It's not enough to make bread. You need to bring in uh, the sheaves. Does anybody know that song? Sowing in the morning, sowing in the noon time, sowing in the evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's sing the chorus. Bringing in the sheaves. Bring him in. We shall come rejoicing. We shall come rejoicing. Bring him in the sheep. Bring him in. Bring him in the sheep. Bring him in. We shall come rejoicing. We shall come rejoicing. Bring him in the sheep. All right. You know, sometimes we need to sing it corporately, but you need to sing for yourself. I shall come. Because I don't know what some people are ready to do. They some, probably want to bring one stalk of wheat. How many are ready for a harvest? I'd like you to scream, I shall be fruitful. I shall be fruitful. Now sing it. Bring in, in the sheep. Bring in, in the sheep. I shall come rejoice. Somebody know that that's your testimony. 
Praise the Lord. Were you blessed tonight? Please be seated as you prepare your seed in order to bring in the sheets. Hallelujah. We must begin to practicalize everything that we hear. Never hold back. So that seed tonight, your tithes, your offering. The one person you want to invest at a high risk level with is God. <laughs> because God never fails. We do our different investments. Some of them, they say low risk, medium risk, high risk. Even the low risk one, you can't get your money back. <laughs> but when it comes to God, high risk will always yield. Never fails. Anything you sow, you will reap. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So sow tonight confidently. If you need an envelope, collect for those of us who are here present. And for many of us, we already give online. You can give directly to the bank account. Go to PayPal, text to the number if you have a UK telephone number. You can go to the website and you can call the number on your screen. Let's give. here and every one of us who are given by our different devices those also watching online lift it up father we thank you for your word cannot fail you will always give seed to the sower bless your people enlarge their coast for those who have released tonight their offering may they increase 
those who have released their tithe may heaven open upon their lives we thank you we bless you for checks in the mail gifts and surprises rebates and reforms thank you father for divine connections major breakthroughs we give you all the glory and the praise in jesus name come on give god praise please be seated quickly we'll just go through the announcements and um, first on the list here is for you to be part of the evangelism 10 by 100 it's a challenge to every one of us none excluded go out of your way to win 10 souls by april 10th invite them to one of kicc's actual services and receive a gift from pastor matthew here at uh Holy, I'm, I said, prayer city. Amen. I was going to say holy city. I'm not sure. Maybe we need <laughs> praise God. Make 2023 your year of witnessing for Christ. And I'm very sure in all the branches, chapels, and for even all the churches who may be watching tonight, do the same. Amen. Hallelujah. The big one at KS is the land of wonders. Uh, the service has been... Uh, Pull into one service only, which starts 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. A powerful service. Uh, join Pastor Toby Ashimolo at the one big morning service and go and experience a warm welcome. Let's invite people uh, in the neighborhood and friends and family to be part of that. Uh, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Experience triumphant worship, inspiring word, and so much more at the land of wonders 9 a.m to 11 a.m waltham store amen french connection will always meet they'll continue to hold their service at 2 p.m every sunday 2 p.m singles evangelism and socials singles evangelism and social how many single are here tonight oh let's hear yeah good praise God <laughs> this is for you amen <laughs> and they that be wise shall shine as bright the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever Daniel 12 3 so we're calling all singles it's time to join the evangelism team to win souls for Christ and this is happening this Saturday coming, 11th of February, 11 a.m. Here, I mean, it's going to be at the Land of Wonders, 11 a.m. And uh, please note, if you would like to join us, I mean, join for the bowling uh, in Stratford afterwards. So it's evangelism and socials. Don't just go for the socials. Go for the evangelism and then join them. Uh, if you would like to join them at Stratford for uh, bowling, I mean bowling, uh, it's important to send a message to singles at kicc.org.uk. kicc.org.uk. And you must do this by the 7th of February, which is this coming Tuesday. Singles at kicc.org.uk. Just to say, yes, I'm coming for the bowling. I guess uh, that is to have a certain number of people to know the number. But evangelism important. Be at O Street, uh, 11 a.m. On Saturday praise the Lord morning glow 7, 6 a.m. every morning from Monday to Friday so continue to glow in the presence of the Lord with KCC's online family join Pastor Matthew for every day Monday to Friday 6 a.m. on all KCC social media platforms and don't forget also the seventh Sunday of the prophetic, which is what's happening tonight. Seven Sundays of the prophetic that will carry on till the 12th of March. Till the 12th of March from today until the 12th of March. So come expectant every Sunday evening, believing God for a revelation, a transformation, a release of grace, specific prophetic words to individuals. Hallelujah, here at Prayer City. I'm mean, sorry, 11 a.m. here at Prayer City. 
sorry, 11 a.m. here at Prayer City, seven Sundays of the prophetic, and this is in the morning, sorry. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Uh, winter revival service, that's the overflowing streams, and it starts from the 19th to the 24th of February, 19th to the 24th of February, uh, 6.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m. every day, apart from Sunday evening, which is 6 p.m., 19th to the 24th of February. How many have been blessed at some of the uh, winter revival service of the past, uh, water brooks and all that? Please be there. It's going to be majorly at KICC, the Land of Wonders, in Old Street, 6.30 p.m. every day of that period, 19th to the 24th, and then Sunday is 6 p.m. KBI, uh, the first KBI extra classes for baptism membership and workers is scheduled for uh, this Saturday, 11th, and also the eight, I mean, 11th and 18th of February. Uh, this is this uh, coming uh, Saturday, and it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and the venue is virtual via Zoom. <coughs> uh, interested candidates, please send an email to kbi at krcc.org.uk for an introductory questionnaire to be sent to you. Uh, email submission deadline is also Tuesday, 11 p.m., Tuesday, 8th of February, 11 p.m. Candidates must attend the 11th and the 18th. You must attend both services, I mean both uh, Saturdays to be eligible for interview and this is in the baptismal membership and workers class uh, uh, category uh, and after that this Wednesday every Wednesday 7 p.m. there's uh, the also uh, the, there's sorry let me go back to the, the, the KBI uh, the extra classes are for those who are not attending the Wednesdays, but regularly on Wednesdays, every Wednesday, 6 p.m., you have the baptism, membership, and stewardship classes, 6 p.m., every Wednesday for the regular ones. And then after that comes the 7 p.m. ICC Global Bible Study with Pastor Matthew. Don't miss that this Wednesday. And uh, Kerner Fellowship, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. this coming Friday. Don't miss it. Make sure you are part of one. And if you are not, call the office, and they will connect you with the one you can join online. And please, please, very important, you can also go to the website. I think Kerner Fellowship is so key to our growth and to our connection with other people in church. Hallelujah. Is anybody coming for the first time here tonight? It's your first time here? Nobody. Praise the Lord. And if you're watching online and it's your first time connecting with KICC, you're welcome. Please go to the website and go to the contact page and complete the relevant form, submit it, and Pastor Matthew will get in touch with you. Please let's rise to our feet. Praise the Lord. This week will be a great week for you. Do you believe that? <laughs> Look at your brother and your sister and just tell them, I'm so blessed and highly favored. Tell them God is on my side. And because God is with me, I can never fear. The greater one indwells me. It puts me over and above every circumstance. Therefore, no weapon formed against me, my family, my church, my finances, my career, my business, no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that will rise against us in judgment, they are condemned. Tell them, this is my year of evident progress. And I'm going higher. Say higher. Say higher. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a great week.
for prayer, call 020-8525-0000 or text to share your testimony. Prayer Works at Prayer City. See you next time.